e tai mā, e kui mā, e koro mā, e rau rangatira mā, nau mai hoki mai, a ki tēnei whakataitai, a puta noi te motu, a ko tēnei te Secondary School Champs 2022, a mō te whakataitai Turbo Touch. Welcome back everybody, we are here in the bustling metropolis of West Auckland. Uh, Trust Stadium in Henderson, you can see this awesome backdrop we've got here uh, for our tournament. Uh, ko Haliwotoku Ingoa, uh, ki toku taha ko George Yonke. Kia ora, George, welcome back. Oh, uh, it's been an awesome day so far, what are your thoughts? Oh, ka pai, tau kia, bro, tau kia. It's been an awesome one, you've been great on the mic. It's lovely to hear the Māori language flowing through the sport of Turbo Touch. Pāteri, I like to call it, but I heard there's a flasher name for it. But how cool is it to have all these tamariki here in one place? Sold out venue. <laughs> Obviously uh, couldn't get a spot for many of these teams. There was only allowed 30 teams in the competition. Big, huge waiting list today. But these are the kids that are out there today showing their stuff on the court. Yeah, we've been really uh, excited to, to share some of the footage already. If you get a chance, feel free to jump back into Fakata Māori YouTube page. You'll be able to tune into the other four games we've already had today. Up next, our next game is going to be heading into the boys' section, Kaipara College and Aurere College. As you can see uh, on our courts beyond Court 1, there are numbers of games. There's, there's uh, six other courts up and running. It's really exciting. As George mentioned, to see all our rangatahi out there getting active, getting involved. Uh, out here on the... Oh, I think we might have um, a bit of a change-up. But Kate's by there now. It looks like we've got Tokoroa High School uh, and Marcelin College on court one. So we'll just reconfirm that. But hui anō, Kate's by there now. We'll, we'll still be ex excited to, to share some of the corridor uh, that we can today, of course. For those of you who may be new to Turbo Touch, kawe uh, wada don't worry. We'll be sharing some of the uh, key aspects of the game to make sure that you learn as you go, as you're watching. Uh, from what you can see, of course, we have two teams. Each team has five players on the court. We have a, a wahi pedal or an active zone at each end, which each of the attacking teams are working towards to try and score points. Uh, I think on today's court, we might only have one referee, but in many instances, we may have two. Uh, George, what are some other aspects of the game that you can share with us as well? Oh, if we start from the basics, just remember the 2-2-2. Two, two, two. two passes before you can score. When you get touched, the defence goes back two metres and waits two seconds. And it's all action right from the start of the game. This is going to be a fast-paced game. Look at the skill. Look at the speed and the footwork. Pass down the track. Good movement with the ball. It is open. It is down. It's touchdown number one. Is that Tukaroa College? Yeah, Tukaroa High School in the black, and we have Marcelin in the blue. So Marcelin, Central Auckland School. Tukaroa High School have made the big trip up from the South Waikato this morning, uh, and we thank them for, for being a part of today's day. Engari awariake kua takaia, a ite pōro, unable to hold on to a Marcelin College. They've played at this competition for the last couple of years, as have Tukaroa. Uh, so they come with a little bit of heritage and a little bit of a background. Um, so it's, it's exciting to see, um, you know, ko wai ka katoa, ko wai ka kamohio i te toa te kemu. Let's see what's going to come through. Yeah, aroha mai in regards to uh, Tokoroa College, Tokoroa High School, uh, for those hafa uh, trends eyes out there. We all know that uh, Tokoroa High shirts uh, and hoodies are pretty pretty famous out there. And there's some few few good league players and rugby players that have come from that scene as well, Harley. Yeah, there's a few um, from Marcelin as well, obviously being Central Auckland. Uh, so both schools having a bit of, um, I guess, a bit of heritage and, and producing athletes. But of course, Tokoroa High School, some very famous uh, rugby league players in their time. Uh, none other that springs to mind than, um, than the legend himself, Joey Manu. Oh, Joey Manu. Awesome. Getting that record the other night. And here we go, Marcelin. Good ball movement. Touch number one. Yeah, oh. took it all playing a very lateral game here. Uh, Marcelin doing their best to try and keep them at this end of the court. Uh, what are your some, what are some some of the strategies that you think will come into play, not only in this game but for the rest of the event today? Yeah, looking at the speed of these kids and the athleticism of them, um, it looks like they'll apply their power D pretty tight mm. and they'll have to use a lot of movement and a lot of speed to get away from their defensive player. As we can see here, Tukaroa getting some space. Marcelin hanging off a little bit there into working the space defense. Slightly man on, but holding a bit of space knowing where their, their uh, attacker is. 
Marcelin working down the court, one pass, looking for number two, opens it up. Looking long, looking short. Using the full width of the and the length of the court, taking it back into their own half. Defense is tight. Here we go, touch number two. Yeah, that's great defense here from Marcelin. And what to tip all Kiara though now. They have the ball in position, taking their time, assessing their options. Kotahi pa, first touch, one more to go. Of course, only two touches in the game of two a touch. And then a hand over to the other team. Yeah, look at that, Harley. Just two touches and it's over to the other team. You don't have the luxury like touch rugby where you get six touches up your sleeve. You can uh, manoeuvre the ball a little bit, set up, take a couple of touches to get ready for the power play. This is power play every play. What I've found exciting in the last couple of games is teams have really started attacking from halfway. They haven't waited until they've just got to the side of the, the active zone. You can see here Tokoro not only getting the subs to come in, unlimited subs in this game, but they're not afraid to take it back out, provide some more space for themselves. Number eight with the hot feet and hot hand. Working back into their zone. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's right. Tokoro being really patient there, but really impressive defense there from Marcelin College. Some athletes out here on the field, Farno. Here we go, back in the way, Tokoro High School. Oh, he ho koti. Kowai ka mau te poro a kaya maasalan te poro. E roa pa. Oh! Kaya te whakatau a te kaiwawao. Kua piro a maasalan, they get themselves on the board here. So, Tokoro High School are going to get us back underway. Of course, all of that stemming from... Uh, oh, wow. What a try. Throwing the long ball. Marcelin were unaware there was a free player at the other end of the field. Now, I was going to say... Um, intercepts play a really important part in this game, uh, George. We've had a couple already. Uh, what are some of the, I guess, advantages that come from, from the intercepts? Yeah, good call, Harley. Uh, in regards to the intercept, that's kind of a different aspect because normally every time you tap the ball, you have to pass it twice before you can score. On intercept, you can attack the zone straight away. You don't have to do any passes, but if you choose to pass it five times, uh, you're, you're allowed to. It's, it's open straight away. The other advantage is if you get an intercept and you don't pass it, the next touch count is zero. So you basically get a three-touch count. But if you decide to pass it on after the intercept, it goes back to normal game. You get two touches. Great pass and a great try there. But it looks like we might have some time off. I think we've got a uh, just a little bit of an injury. Ahakua he pai teruku, kitewahi piro, ahakua faraia i tōna waiwai. So it looks like we might have an injury. We just want to take some time just to make sure our player is safe. Uh, great to see our our, our kayako from, from the school was, was straight there. And um, our player from Marcelin uh, in the blue. Uh, looks like he's got back onto his feet. And, oh, he's back running, so that's a good sign. And we're back underway. Tokoro will we'll restart the game. Tokoro here in the black. He hokoti anō. Another intercept. Oh, ngari kotaka te pōro. Sometimes with no pressure in front of you at all, the ball can come free. Too many options, one would say. Tokoroa now with uh, position of the ball. Kei te kimi haere te tahi atu hoa. Looking for his teammates. Yeah, I'm really liking this defense of Marcelin, not giving Tokoroa much space. So they're all over them. Some good feet there by number one. Yeah, he looks like an athlete. I wouldn't be surprised if he plays a few sports and Turbo Touch is just another. Oh, it looks like a ball to ground. But some exciting options there from Arsenal. Not afraid to take during, uh, through the middle of the court. Okay, Te, te karanga te, te kaiwa wao. It looks like the player from Marcelin took off a little bit too early. Referee played advantage, has come back uh, for the penalty. 
He's quick understanding there. Once a touch has been made, two metres, two seconds, and it looks like he was within the two metre radius and also within two seconds. They got in a penalty and a repeat penalty. Here's a quick one too. The old Tahirua. Ai, kwa piro rātou. Nā te mahi Tahirua, nā te mahi Pirepere. Due to the flick-ons, they were able to score there, so a really exciting addition um, that you don't see in other sports, but but you do see often in turbo touching and used to great fruition there by Tokoroa High School. Toru ki te rua, ko te tata o te wā nei. Uh, e whitu uh, minute e toi ana. Tokoroa High School being pushed backwards down the court. Engari e rua, ana pā. Kei te whai haere a Marcelin. Ai te wahi pira o engari, kua taka anō. So, Tokoroa in Iron 8, back with the ball. Be patient, taking their time. Yeah, Marcelin's sort of got the suffocating defence, which is, takes the time away from Tokoroa, forcing them to throw the wrist pass with no time up their sleeve and defence all over them. Yeah, with that pretty power style defence, that man-on-man -man defence, if you take the tap too quickly, it actually becomes a disadvantage. So it's finding that right balance between uh, patience and, and putting the pace back on. Uh, kua tata tokaroa, uh, i tērā uh, wahi piro. They're very close now to, to their active zone. Let's see the way that they approach this space. Yeah, tokaroa get a repeat set. Uh, Marcelin offside. Trevor Nickel, with control of the whistle, has caught a recount there mm. off the Marcelin defence. I'm impressed with how Tokoroa have stepped up their defence. The Pity Power is working well for them at the moment, which is putting pressure on Marcelin as well. So it's a very tight game here. They're working that uh, around the box tactic where it's the old 1 2, the old Tahirua quick flick before the defence recuperates. But Marcelin has seen that before. Tokoroa now looking to apply pressure and it works. They've regained position in a, in a comfortable and familiar spot for them. Let's see how they can shake away the defence. Uh, they're, they're really spread out. They're, they're trying to. Oh! Engare Kauria Imo. The benefit of spreading out, obviously, is then you can look at these, these flick-ons and then maximise your opportunity with space and ball in hand. Alright, a quick tap. Tokoroa with the flick-on. Kea Marcelin te tikanga, kea Marcelin te mana i noa nei. Engari kua roa te wai ki te timata anō. Taking their time to restart play, just gathering themselves, getting those rolling subs back on. Let's see what approach they take here to get the ball down court. Some great following defence there from Tokoroa. To make the touch from behind, even though the player was in front, they were still in a good position defensively to be impactful. There's that one two option, but unfortunately the ball goes to the ground. Oh, and again. So you've got to be careful when we're tapping the ball. Yeah, it's a frantic pace out there, Harley. It's pretty intense. There's not many opportunities, so you will tend to see a few errors now and then because the have to play at speed to try and get the upper hand. But like you said before, there's a there's a cost sometimes. Sometimes it does pay to slow it down, but when this pile of defense, the pretty pile of defense is all over you, you gotta look back to the textbook and see what you got up your sleeve. Okay, to Tikatina, that's right. First touch. Great defence again by Marcelin. They're, hard, they're a hard team to crack. And it looks like second touch there. 
They've had some success uh, running the ball. Here's an opportunity here. A quick play, defense is lost. A little bit of space now. Good opportunity, look back to the back court. There's opening in the left hand corner. Went through to the middle. Oh. Who was that ball for? Although there are a lot of strategies, sometimes it's the freestyle approach that can work best as well. So we've got a hekaranga uh, te te kai wa wa o te te tu hapa o te tahi tangata no mo tokoro so an offside against tokoro. Looking for the one two, trying to get around. Aha ko he kaka mai ya kauri ai fai piro. Yeah, great defense there by number four. Mm. Number one's very elusive, and when you put that press D on them, sometimes you can get beaten, and then it's already an overlap. So, well done to number four from Tokoro. Alright. One, mahi. One, two. Oh, great defense, 21. There we go. It's a back and forth game, still anyone's game. Yeah, roughly a minute and a half. As we saw in one of the club nights the other week. Oh, good fight. Good fight. That's a great try there, and I think they even it up. Oh, beautiful touchdown. I think that's going to lock it up three apiece. Mm. And as I was saying, it, with a minute to go, we saw a club game the other night where there was a five point buffer, and before you know it, it was down to one. Mm. So within one minute, the game can just change just like that. Tokoro now with a great opportunity to try and steal the lead. Kotahipa. Keita Hakoto, what's the deal? What's the deal? Where's the players? Kotahi Erua. Metoru. Keita Ha. Hey! Kwa Pirorato. So, according to the referee, they managed to catch the ball in the air and still maintain their balance to score before going offside. Fakite Toru. Mm, that, that was next level. So we talked about the one, two, the tahirua. That was a tahirua toru. <laughs> and then between the legs, four down before he went into the active zone. So beautiful touchdown on the number two pass. He just did a quick flick. Someone ran into space. And that's the difference. That's what it takes to get, get the upper hand here. Mm. Uh, Kaiwa, we're just waiting on the referee now. Although time is up on screen, there's still a little bit of time left on the game clock. Aye, kore e roa, kwa tai. Faki te toru, awesome game from Tokoro. Any thoughts from you, George, before we wrap up? Yeah, and with, what a great game, man. With Marcelin having Tokoro on the ropes the whole game, the whole game. And then Tokoro come back with the old one-two with more punch than Joseph Parker to take the game 4-3. <laughs> what a nail-biter, what a showdown. Well done to both teams. Uh, Kawe Haere Koto Ma, we're back soon with some more awesome games uh, from the 2022 Turbo Touch Secondary Schools uh, Champs. Motonu mai.